Hi, and welcome to Integrity Cells and Services. Today, Dave and I are out here doing a video on our 96 Dorsey Reefer trailer. Dave's going to go ahead and open up the compartment doors here. We have the unit running. It's cooled down from 90 degrees outside temperature down to about 76 in about five minutes. going to go ahead and shut it off and then we're going to go ahead and continue with the video. All right, we're going to do a walk around along the passenger, excuse me, the driver's side of the trailer first and then we'll continue ourselves on around to the passenger side. The sides on this trailer are absolutely, I mean, they're just so nice, you'd have to call them flawless for a 96 year model. Um, if you come back here to the front, you got one little area on top of there where you have a little bit of black pitch. There's no dent, no open gash, no leaks. We have a nice straight clean rail top and bottom, no pop to rivets loose, nothing of that nature. Looking down, you have the, uh, it actually has 10 aluminum wheels, hub pilot buds. We actually have a set of snow chains, uh, tire chains with this trailer. We're looking at an aluminum uh, fuel tank for the reefer. We have two, excuse me, let me make sure they're two speed. Yes, they are two speed joist 50,000 pound landing gears. Continuing on down, you can see that we have a spare tire rack and a spare tire. We have an air ride suspension. We'll back off here and continue on the side wall of the trailer. We're going to go from the back forward. Again, we're still on the driver's side here and let you get an angle from this view. Now we're going to continue on to the back of the trailer. It's equipped with nice LED lights. We have a straight bumper and we have an all stainless back end. Dave's going to go ahead and open the doors for us and we'll get you a nice clip of the interior as well. Doors are nice and straight as you can see. The interior is not coming apart. The insulation board's all intact. We'll give you a nice slow walk up here and you can see how straight this stainless back panel is where it meets up with the aluminum corrugated flooring. I'll give you a nice close up of the flooring. There are no holes or punctures in the floor anywhere that we could find front or back. We'll get you a nice view of the sidewall panels. All the way up as you can see it's very nice and clean. We have the bumper plate in the front. We have the airfoil and the ceiling going from front to back. And again, coming down the driver's side wall on the inside, take note, there are no holes or major scuff marks of delamination of any sort. With that, we're going to back off. I'll get you a nice shot from the bottom on the underside, showing you the suspension area. Take a look at the airbags. They're not dry rotted. They look great. we got evidence of a new brake valve. And you can see the depth of our brake pads is somewhere between that 60 and 70 percent pad remaining. And there's a view of the front ones as well. With that, we'll back off and start down the side wall on the passenger side, standing at the back looking forward. We have a couple tree limb scrapes along the back right side here. No dents or anything, but you got a little bit of the blue paint missing um, in about a 10 foot strip there. And I'm sure you can see that well in the video. I'm going to continue slowly up the side wall here. Again, the main thing is we have no rips, holes, or major dings or dents. There's no rivets missing on the bottom rail. It's just a very, very nice straight clean trailer. We'll continue on around to the front and take note we had an all stainless back and we have stainless front corners and the nose plate area is stainless as well on the front corners and I'll get you a close up view of the reefer unit compartments and all that as well. Nice and straight. Doors work good. And I'll let you get an up close of the fifth wheel area to see that it's not pushed up in any way shape or form. And with that, we're going to go ahead and wrap up the video today. If we've missed anything or you have any questions, please don't hesitate to give us a call. Thanks for watching the video.